My name is Thon Bovis. I am a doctoral candidate in the Department of Forestry, Wildlife, and Fisheries at the University of Tennessee. I've been fascinated by birds in particular, but wildlife in general since I was very young. I went on a family vacation to Newfoundland, and in Newfoundland, I happened that my parents had some binoculars, and I happened to look at a, a a yellow rumped warbler uh, and I remember looking through the binoculars and looking at this warbler and, and just being absolutely amazed at how colorful and how beautiful the bird was and I remember being hooked at that moment pretty much. I, after that I everywhere I went I'd carry my binoculars with me and try to identify every species I saw there um, and it's just kind of grown from there and that's what brings me to University of Tennessee today to study the cerulean warbler and help conserve its habitat and give it a chance for the future. Cerulean warblers are incredibly unique, uh, small, neotropical migrants. Um, they're in the family Prulidae. They weigh about nine grams, which is uh, a little less than two nickels. They have a bright blue coloration on their back. They also have clear white undersides with a, a black breast stripe. And that black breast stripe can vary from being almost non-existent to being quite large. There aren't many other species that have the color patterns of cerulean warblers, especially in their family and especially inhabiting uh, the canopy like they do. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service did find reason uh, to believe that the population is decreasing rapidly and they then uh, decided that it is better to spend a little time doing a little more research and finding out how close to extinction cerulean warblers are. And uh, in the last 10 years, a lot of research has been done on cerulean warblers. And what we found is they are still declining and they're not extremely close to extinction right now, but they are definitely on the verge of being a federally endangered species. The Cumberland Mountains uh, are exceptionally important to the cerulean warbler. If you wanted to protect the cerulean warbler and you had to choose one location on Earth, you would choose the Cumberland Mountains of East Tennessee. I really think it's important to understand how important they are to cerulean warblers. And while there are lots, many other species that inhabit the Cumberland Mountains and the forests are important to them as well, there's no species that relies on the Cumberland Mountains in the way that the cerulean warbler does with 25% of their population inhabiting the, the small area in Northern Tennessee and, and Southern Kentucky. I think it's just important to have biodiversity for the sake of biodiversity, but also from a human perspective, uh, all of these species are interconnected. Uh, all of them play a role in the ecosystems that we rely on for survival. And uh, I think uh, the world would be a much less uh, enjoyable place to live if we didn't have the multitude of avian species and species in general uh, that we do. We're extremely lucky to, to live on an earth with this many species. And I think it's really important that we help protect and conserve them for the, both their sake and for our own. Yeah.